What if you could master every hacking command in the blink of an eye? Strap in, because in the next few minutes, you're going to learn the essential commands that every hacker needs to know. Let me take you through this journey, command by command. This video is intended for educational purposes only. Ethical hacking should only be performed on systems you own or have explicit permission to test. Unauthorized access to networks or devices is illegal and punishable by law. Always respect privacy and follow legal guidelines when practicing hacking skills. Your first mission, understanding your environment. The terminal opens, a blinking cursor waiting for instructions. You type LS and suddenly the room comes alive, listing the files and folders in your current directory. This is your map showing you what's nearby. To navigate, you use CD, a command that feels like opening doors to new rooms. But where are you exactly? That's where PWD steps in, giving you the precise address of your current location. With these three commands, you're already grounded, a digital explorer in an endless landscape. Now, it's time to organize this world. Imagine needing a new space for your secret projects. Make Kadir is like summoning a new room from a thin air, a new directory ready for your use. When things get cluttered, RM comes to the rescue, clearing out unnecessary files or entire folders. But with power comes responsibility. A misplaced RM command can erase more than you intended, so you tread carefully. Then there's CP, your trusty copier, letting you duplicate important files, and MV, the mover and renamer, perfect for reorganizing or disguising files. Starting fresh, touch is your magic wand, creating a brand new empty file at your command. Files aren't just objects, they hold secrets and insights. To read them, you call upon cat, which spills their contents into your terminal like an open book. For longer files, less offers control, letting you scroll through pages at your own pace. Sometimes all you need are the opening lines. Head gives you those, or perhaps the final moments of a log file. Tail delivers those last lines, often revealing errors or solutions. With Echo, you can even create simple messages or write text directly into a file, as if leaving breadcrumbs for someone else to follow. But what if you're searching for something specific, like a needle in a haystack? That's when Find becomes your detective, scanning directories to locate files based on names, sizes, or types. Pair it with Grep, and you have a forensic toolkit, able to search deep within files for patterns, keywords, or code snippets. Suddenly, no piece of information can hide from you. As you master files, your curiosity turns outward. The world is interconnected through networks and understanding them is essential. You start with ping, sending packets to a host to test its connection and measure the response time. It's like knocking on a door to see if someone's home. Then there's traceroute, which maps the journey those packets take, revealing the path to the destination. What about your own network setup? If config shows you detailed information about your network interfaces, while the modern IP command lets you dive even deeper, managing IP addresses, routes, and connections. Now you're hooked. You fire up Nmap, a network scanning tool that reveals hidden details, devices on the network, open ports, and running services. It's like turning on a flashlight in a dark room, exposing what's lurking in the shadows. For even more precision, TCP dump captures and analyzes packets traveling across the network, while curl becomes your way of interacting with servers, fetching or sending data with ease. But as you explore, you realize a system isn't just about its files or networks, it's about its users. Managing them is critical. You create new users with add user, customizing their accounts, or use user add for a simpler approach. Modifications, user mod lets you change user properties, while password sets or updates their passwords. When curiosity strikes, who am I reminds you who's logged in, while ID reveals user and group IDs. And if someone's overstayed their welcome, Dell user ensures they're removed from the system entirely. With users under control, you focus on the system itself. Ownership of files and directories is critical, and chown lets you transfer control to another user. Permissions? That's chmod, which dictates who can read, write, or execute a file. Default permissions are handled by umask, setting the baseline for every new file or folder. To explore connected devices, lsblk lists block devices like hard drives, and blk ID identifies them by their unique IDs. Need to make a new connection. Mount attaches a device or file system, and umount detaches it, severing the link. Every action brings you closer to mastery. As the hours tick by, you begin automating. Repetitive tasks are no match for cron, 
which schedules them to run like clockwork. For one-time tasks, at takes the reins. Want to monitor something in real time? Watch executes commands repeatedly, showing you live updates. And when it's time to slow down, sleep pauses execution for moments of calm, a brief respite in the chaos. Your hacking journey wouldn't be complete without understanding the power of data. You harness awk to slice and process text files, extracting exactly what you need, while said edits streams of text with surgical precision. Characters out of place? TR replaces or removes them, cleaning up your data. With cut, you carve out specific fields from structured text, making it easy to focus on the critical pieces. The most exciting part, exploring vulnerabilities. You fire up SQL map, probing databases for weaknesses, and hashcat, cracking hashed passwords with brute force. Metasploit becomes your framework of exploits, while Burp Suite allows you to test web applications for security flaws. You even use Derb to discover hidden directories, uncovering secrets others thought were safe. If you're serious about hacking but don't know where to start or what commands to use when, I got you a cheat sheet filled with commands for the most used tools. There are commands and examples on how to use them. The link is in the comments. Happy hacking. As you continue to build your hacking toolkit, there are even more commands and utilities that can give you deeper control over systems, networks, and vulnerabilities. Let's expand your arsenal further. Network scanning and analysis. You fire up RPScan, a network discovery tool that uses ARP packets to identify devices on your local network. It's fast and useful for quickly identifying live hosts. NetDiscover is another tool in your arsenal that helps you map out active hosts within your subnet. You need something even quicker? FPing is your answer, a faster, more efficient version of ping that can send ICMP echo requests to multiple hosts simultaneously, ideal for scanning large networks. When you need to scan vast ranges, MassCan becomes your go-to tool. It can scan the entire internet in minutes, revealing open ports across the digital world. Security tools. In your quest for security, Fail2Ban is a guardian that scans logs for repeated failed login attempts and automatically blocks the attacking IP addresses, securing your system from brute force threats. But what if you need more direct control over traffic? IP Tables is the ultimate firewall configuration tool allowing you to control incoming and outgoing traffic at a granular level. If you're looking for something simpler, UFW, Uncomplicated Firewall, serves as a user-friendly alternative to IP tables, simplifying the process of managing firewall rules. When it comes to cracking passwords via brute force, Hydra becomes indispensable, allowing you to target multiple protocols with ease. Network monitoring and troubleshooting. With IFTOP, you can monitor network bandwidth in real time keeping an eye on data transfer rates, connections, and more. For troubleshooting, TCP flow helps you capture and inspect data flowing over TCP connections. If you're digging deeper into packets, Wireshark stands out. This powerful network protocol analyzer can capture and dissect the raw data of your network traffic, helping you understand what's really going on under the hood. Web application and security testing. For web application scanning, Nikto becomes your trusted sidekick. It scans web servers for potential security vulnerabilities, revealing common flaws that may have been overlooked. If you're into fuzzing URLs to uncover hidden directories or files, GoBuster is your go-to tool, designed to scan directories and perform brute force attacks against web servers. Burp Suite then becomes your favorite suite for testing and interacting with web applications. Its powerful tools allow you to intercept traffic, test for vulnerabilities, and analyze responses. Database and password cracking. When it comes to databases, MySQL lets you directly interact with MySQL databases, whether for management or testing. For PostgreSQL, PSQL provides a terminal-based interface, offering powerful querying capabilities. If you're trying to crack passwords, Hashcat is the heavyweight champion, designed to perform fast, efficient password cracking using a variety of algorithms. Meanwhile, John, John the Ripper, is another go-to for cracking hashed passwords, and it works with various cryptographic formats. Privilege escalation and system audits. As you dig deeper into a system, sudo is often your gateway to elevated privileges. But what if you need to check for potential escalation paths? Linpeas and Linux Exploit Suggester are tools that automate the process of looking for common privilege escalation vectors on Linux systems, helping you identify potential exploits. For more in-depth system auditing, Linus performs security audits on Unix-based systems, scanning for weaknesses that could be exploited by attackers. 
system monitoring and management. To get a better overview of system resources, DSTAT shows you detailed information on CPU, memory, disk, and network usage in real time. For disk usage, IOSTAT provides insight into input-output statistics for devices, helping you monitor the system's performance. When you want to see a quick summary of all running processes, STRI visually organizes processes in a tree format, showing the relationships between parent and child processes. File integrity and forensics. You can verify file integrity with AID, Advanced Intrusion Detection Environment, which checks for unexpected changes to your files, alerting you if something is amiss. To search for deleted or hidden files, Test Disk helps you recover lost partitions and files, making it an essential tool for digital forensics. Remote access and exploitation. To establish reverse shells or network connections, NC, Netcat, is an essential tool for creating low-level TCP UDP connections, letting you interact with remote systems easily. Metasploit comes in next, offering a complete framework for exploiting known vulnerabilities in systems. Its integrated tools make it a powerful asset for security testing, and MS Venom can help you create payloads for exploitation. File compression and archiving. You're working with files, but sometimes they need to be compressed or packaged for easier transport. TAR is the traditional choice for creating compressed archives, whether for backup or transport. For creating more efficient archives, ZIP and BZIP2 are your go-to tools for compression, while Unzip and 7Z help you extract files from archives. As your journey into the world of hacking deepens, you'll discover more specialized tools to strengthen your skills. Let's dive into some additional commands that can take your exploration even further. To manage users and their permissions more effectively, CHGRP allows you to change the group ownership of files and directories, and SetFaceL lets you set more advanced file access control lists. On the flip side, if you need to remove permissions, GetFACL can help you view them, offering a deeper understanding of access control. When you're probing network ports or services in detail, SS is a more modern alternative to Netstat, allowing you to view socket statistics and network connections. If you need to listen on a specific port, NC will enable you to create a TCP UDP connection, perfect for testing or establishing reverse shells. For detailed process management, LSOF lets you see which files are being used by processes, while Peace Tree displays all active processes in a hierarchical tree format helping you visualize process relationships. If you're looking to track down which process is using up memory or CPU, NICE adjusts process priority, and RENICE lets you modify the priority of running processes. When dealing with system monitoring, DSTAT is your go-to for an all-in-one tool that shows you various resource statistics, CPU, memory, disk usage, network activity. IOSTAT gives you detailed information on input-output statistics for devices and partitions. Security testing isn't complete without tools like Snort, an intrusion detection system, IDS, that detects malicious traffic, and Linus, which audits systems for security vulnerabilities. OpenVAS, Open Vulnerability Assessment System, is another powerful tool for vulnerability scanning. When you're inspecting web apps, you may find Nikto useful, as it's a fast scanner for web servers, revealing potential security issues. For directory brute forcing, GoBuster is a powerful tool to discover hidden directories and files. When it's time to look for malware or backdoors, ChakeK Rootkit is an excellent tool to check for rootkits. RK Hunter scans your system for signs of rootkit infections, offering further peace of mind in your hacking efforts. For taking screenshots or capturing screen activity remotely, Scrot is a lightweight command line tool, perfect for remote sessions when you need visual evidence. Meanwhile, FFmpeg comes into play if you need to capture and manipulate video streams or convert files from one format to another. Want to work with databases? MySQL allows you to interact with MySQL databases directly, and PSQL lets you interact with PostgreSQL databases. These tools are essential for ethical hackers who are testing database security or managing backend systems. When working on automated tasks, Expect is a powerful command line automation tool, enabling you to automate interactions with programs that require user input. Similarly, SED becomes your friend when you need to do stream editing or text manipulation, like replacing or deleting characters within a file. If you're looking to manipulate and transfer files across networks, rsync is a fantastic tool for syncing files between remote and local systems. And for working with archives, tar is the go-to tool for packing and unpacking files and directories. When it comes to managing virtual environments, Vagrant helps you create and manage virtual machines for isolated testing, 
and Docker allows you to work with containers, making it easier to manage dependencies and environments without risking your primary system.